things. There's a story that once upon a time there were three children and they were very poor. They didn't have new clothes for Christmas. All they had was an orange and a red ribbon and some dried fruit. In those days, an orange was a real treat because they didn't grow in the cold countries in the north. They had to be brought by horse and cart or by ship for many hundreds of miles. <clears throat> Every Christmas time, the other families came to church with <clears throat> gifts for the baby Jesus. They brought fresh fruit and nuts, and chocolate and clothes and gloves. And then these gifts later could be given to people who didn't have anything at all. <clears throat> the three poor children really wanted to bring a gift for Jesus as well. But all they had was their orange. So they decided to bring that. It wasn't a very fresh orange, to be truthful. The top had gone a bit green and squishy. So the eldest child cut out the green bit and stuck a candle in the top. The youngest girl decided to decorate it some more and put her best red ribbon around the orange and attached it with small wooden sticks. The middle child had the idea to put a few dry fruits on the ends of the sticks. So they took it to the Christmas Mass. It was a funny looking thing. An orange with a candle stuck in it, with a red ribbon and odd bits of fruit. The other children smirked and sneered at this odd looking gift. But the priest took their gift <clears throat> and showed it as an example of the true meaning of Christmas. The world, the light of God, the fruits of the earth, the four points of the compass, the whole earth that the light shines on, and the red ribbon reminding us of the sacrifice of Jesus, reminding us of his love. The poor children had given the little they had. And when the candle was lit, the light shone in the shadows of the church and reminded people of Jesus the Christ child. We're going to sing a carol, and then we're going to distribute um, the Christingles.